Ben Jen yesterday, Speaker of the House Matt Ritter told his Democratic colleagues a new report would be coming out with information indicating that Representative Williams' blood alcohol level was above the legal limit when he was struck and killed by a wrong way driver in that crash back in January. Now, many today saying this brings up a greater conversation about the culture of drinking and driving here in Connecticut. We'll continue to remind people we're not immune to the same things that happen outside of this building. Representative Williams was on his way home from Governor Ned Lamont's inaugural ball in the early morning of January 5th when he was struck head on by a wrong way driver on Route 9 South in Cromwell. That driver also killed in the crash. Fox 61 obtained a portion of the report which revealed that driver had a blood alcohol level nearly twice the legal limit of 0 0.08 and had THC, the active ingredient in marijuana in her system at the time of the crash. Wednesday, many addressed this new information, saying in no way does it diminish the way they feel about Q or his legacy. I don't know anything about the toxicology report, but I do know that uh, Q Williams was a hero to a lot of folks in this state, and his death was an enormous tragedy, and I think that should be 100% of our focus. Q was, was a remarkable human being and a great public public servant to the state of Connecticut. Taub says he was at the governor's inaugural ball in January and recalls lots of free alcohol and many people driving themselves home, calling it a tragedy waiting to happen. It really could happen to anyone that night who drank and drove home. Some now questioning whether alcohol should be limited at state functions and if stricter rules could be put in place for lawmakers. The state legislators and the politicians in Hartford model the type of behavior that they want to see from everyone here in the state of Connecticut. Lamont and legislative leaders say there have already been changes made at the Capitol. He was hit head on by a wrong way driver who didn't go to any inaugural balls. That was the cause of uh, Q's uh, tragic death. When I started, there was receptions every night. You go up to old judicial old approach and people had dinner. You could have, you know, people would be surprised probably looking back now what was allowed even four or five years ago. They really have gotten away a lot of that stuff. And again, this new report and information in no way changes Representative Williams' legacy or how big of a loss this was for his colleagues in the House and in the legislature as a whole. Now, earlier today, I did go down to state police headquarters and try and request that full report. They told me it's not yet ready to be released. For now, live at the Capitol, Emma Wolforst, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.